Hello investors, this is Stuart Cruz and welcome to Cruise Asset Management's chart of the day. Today we're going to be talking about Cruise Asset Management's QVP trades. QVP stands for Quantitative Value Portfolio, where we ask a simple question, what fundamental characteristics of stocks tend to lead towards outperformance? And let's buy those characteristics of stocks today. So let's dive in. We're going to look at some buys, some sells, and some past performance. So let's start with the past performance because last month I did a report on Home Depot versus Lowe's and up on the chart, <clears throat> lo and behold, I have Lowe's and Home Depot and the S&P 500. We made that video on August 10th and right now Lowe's is in blue and it was up 4.15% versus Home Depot, which is up 1.26% and uh, I'm sorry, versus uh, Home Depot, which is up a half a percent, and the S&P, which is up one and a quarter. So, so far, so good. Lowe's is outperforming Home Depot and the S&P 500. That's what we look to do, buy a dollar of earnings at a cheap valuation so that we can add value long term. And the first 30 days, doing okay. Okay, so uh, let's switch to the buys and sells that we have on board. We just placed these trades. And right now we have up on the chart, up on the chart here from our friends from YChart, Archer Daniels and Viacom, these were two buys. So Archer Daniels up 16% year to date, I'm sorry, in a one year period and Viacom is down 34%. So sold off and now is trying to rally back up. I'm gonna put the S&P uh, spiders on here. So Archer Daniels has kind of kept pace with the S&P, but Viacom has definitely underperformed. Now, if we look at the P.E. ratios, that's in the lower chart right here, the P.E. ratios, and this is a percentage gain. So let's go to the original pricing and let's take off the price chart so that we no longer are um, so complicated up here. Right now, the Archer Daniels P.E. ratio is around 15, just under 15. The average P.E. ratio in the S&P 500 is a little bit higher at 16 to 17. And here, Viacom is trading at a P.E. of 7, meaning... For every dollar of earnings, you are pricing this at $7 a share. So that takes you only seven years instead of the 14 years to get paid back for every dollar of earnings of Viacom. So this could be one reason why the models are buying this because it's a pretty inexpensive stock. If I look at the price to sales, we're also looking at a pretty inexpensive stock and I wanted to put on price to book value is what I wanted to do. So price to book value down here, 1.3, 1.2. So book value is how much if we bust up the company and sell off the assets, what's it trading at? So it's just trading at a slight premium to its book value. Hopefully a company can add value above its book. So it should trade at slightly above one, but when you start getting towards one, that tends to be a bargain. And price to sale, these things are both trading at less than half a price to sales. Now, we are looking to sell Cisco Corp, the food company, not the technology company, and TJ Maxx, TJX companies. And as you can see up here, the PE ratios of Cisco and TJX are quite a bit higher than that of Archer Daniels and Viacom. You're looking at 160 and 96. So for every dollar of earnings, you have to basically wait 100 years to get paid back. That's in today's dollar of earnings. And then the TJX you've got the price to book being pretty elevated and Cisco is still also higher, but really the, uh, I'm sorry, the price to book is much, much higher and price to sales are also both higher. I'm going to get rid of price to sales for right now so we can just focus on the PE ratios and the price to book. So these are significant elevations above the current uh, prices above the stocks that we're buying versus the ones that we're selling. You might see this gigantic jump up here. There's an event that happened here. What is that event? Well, the event is earnings came in. So I'm going to take off these um, ratios and we can look, I'm going to take off the price to book value so we can just concentrate on the PE versus the E. Down here we have earnings per share and you can see for the, let's like look at Cisco, went from a PE ratio of around, I don't know, you're looking at 20 to basically up to 150. And so what happened? Well, the earnings per share went from $2.63 down to 38 cents. So the E got just cut by 
uh, 90 percent, almost 80 90 percent, and so the PE jumped way up. Same thing can be said for TJX. The E went way down to 57 cents, up from uh, again off from uh, two dollars and sixty cents basically. So again, you see a spike in the PE ratio. So right now the market's saying, hey. These things are expensive. At if I'm going to be making 30 cents a share or 50 cents a share, it's going to take me quite a few years to get paid back on this current PE. Now, we are going to hope that this kind of comes back, but as Warren Buffett would say, hey, I'd rather have the dollar of earnings now. And obviously, Archer Daniels and Viacom really held up their end quite a bit better. So they're, they're kind of maintaining their ratios and maintaining their stronghold versus some of these other companies. So that's why we traded out on them. We're looking for values and we're going to sell expensive stocks. And right now, Cisco and TJX are expensive. If their earnings start to come back, maybe we put them back in the portfolio. But at the end of the day, we want to just keep repeating things like the Home Depot versus Lowe's issue where you're buying a dollar of earnings at a discount and getting rid of a dollar of earnings that seems to be expensive. Okay, so this is Stuart Cruz with Cruz Asset Management uh, talking about systematic investing through our QVP process. And don't forget to invest with the odds in your favor.